Good afternoon, everyone. I present to your attention the work of the insulation calculation plugin. This plugin allows you to calculate insulation for a specific points that you will set with a special insulation balloon family. Now I've got regular empty project open when we are going to start work. First of all, you will need the insulation balloon family. If you need, you can use any family in our plugin. You have the ability to download this family from the settings. We open the BSAR tab, go to the settings, insulation tab, click on load insulation balloon. This family is a generalized mode and looks as follows. This is the family that we are going to use to calculate insulation, which means we are going to use this balloon. Put it in a place where we need to calculate the insulation and then we are gonna do the calculation. The next step is we have the creation of the environment. That's what we do with forms. The shapes are made with the standard Revit tool. A shape in context. Let's make some forms. They'll be some identical buildings. Let's make the building 10 meters wide and 30 meters long. Next, we make a rectangle and see what we got in the 3D view. Let's set the elevation to 15 meters, a five-story house. Copy it by creating some kind of development. Turn some houses around. This is how we did the surrounding building development. The next step is to position our installation balloons. In the places where we want to count insulation, let's have this house right here. And like the third floor, so the marking is approximately 7.5 meters. So we want to calculate our insulation in this point. I'll make the second range bigger to see our installation balloon. Next, we need to adjust the sun to our side. In order to do this, we need to set the coordinates and the angle of rotation of the side as it's in the real world. In order to do that, we need to set the rotation angle. Let it be 30 degrees. We'll set up the sun next. Let's choose one day. Select the date in which we want to calculate our insulation. We're gonna go with dawn to dusk, time interval 15 minutes, select level 0, level 1, and press OK. Switch on to the sun and uh, we see that we have the sun settings. In this case, know that you also need to set the location of your site in the world. We're not going to pay attention to that right now. But you absolutely have to ask location so that the settings of the sun were correct. So we've set up on this plan everything for our calculation. Let's run the insulation plugin. In this window, we specify the format of work that we're going to use for the calculation. On the selected balls, we're all the balls in the project. If you need to calculate, for example, some certain points, you can select those balls and then run the plugin afterwards. Next, you need to select the family that you want to calculate, selecting the vent balloon. If you need to, you can use other, your family, choosing a hatching that will show our calculation on the plan, indicate the diameter for this hatching, specify the calculation in minutes, what accuracy. We are going to calculate insulation with every 15, 5, 3 or 1 minute. I'll leave it at 15 minutes. The smaller the number, the more accurate calculation will be. Next, we specify whether to draw 3D lines in order to visually see how this calculation works in 3D. You'll see that later. Here we specify the length in meters for 3D lines. Choose whether we want to record the insulation into our balloon and if so, then we select the parameter to record. We're going to switch the setting off now just a little bit. We'll come back to it later. Click done.
We end up seeing that we have round our balloon this hatching. This hatching indicates to us the geometric component of how insulation works for us in a particular point. That is, we have, simplistically speaking, insulation started when the sun was approximately here and then it when we got the sun here. On the 3D view, we we were able to see this more correctly. And we can see that we have one petal been made in which the insulation time recorded at this point is 8 hours and 15 minutes. Let's go to the 3D view and we see two lines. That is, roughly speaking, we have our petal displayed as two lines. Let's get our sun on here too. And see what we have for this point. There is nothing in the way of the sun, but what happens if, for example, these buildings were taller? Let's recalculate and see that the insulation has changed. If we are running in length here, for example, 50 meters, we can see that this building right here is blocking the insulation with this angle. So in our plan already, not one, but two petals appear, each of which we have a calculation of our own time. Here is 2 hours 30 minutes, there is 4 hours 30 minutes. If you move this building, turn it around and increase the elevation, recalculate, then the insulation will be even less. This petal is 1 hour 30 minutes now. Thus, for each point, we can calculate our insulation. Let's copy this family somewhere else, for example, on a neighboring building and run the plugin again. We'll see that for this point, we've got these two petals left. And here we have this petal right here, because this building right here doesn't get in the way of it. If you increase its elevation and restart the plugin, then the situation gets worse. So we can calculate the insulation for a particular point. To compile this data into a table, to do that, we can do a record of the estimates from our installation balloon into our hatchings. To do that, let's add a few parameters for our hatchings. It's the category of node elements. Let's create some project parameters. Let's create a new parameter. Name it, for example, room number. This will be the next data type. Assign it to node element categories and create another parameter with the data type number. We call it time and assign it to the node element categories. Okay, next we need to designate which flat is which balloon. For example, for this insulation balloon. In the brand parameter, I'll put the number of flat 100 and for this balloon 200. Let's run the plugin. Tick the box here to see if we are going to record the information about the room in the our hatching. Here we select the parameter of the ball from what uh, we are going to take, our room number. Select the hatch parameter, where we are going to write down the room number. This is our parameter that we have just created and the time parameter of the hatching. The corresponding parameters have been recorded values. That is, here in parameter number of the premises, we have 200 written in. This one information was taken from our balloon and the time was recorded in minutes. So 4 hours 30 minutes is 270 minutes. For this petal, we have 200 room, 90 minutes. For this petal, room number 100, the time is 375 minutes. After that, we can easily make a schedule by node element category, add our parameters there, and thus calculate that for the room number 100, we have a calculated insulation time of 375 minutes, and for room 200, there is the calculated insulation time, we have 360 minutes. So with the plugin and the insulation calculation, you will be able to calculate insulation by taking into account the environment and keep record of this information into hatching elements and collect the schedule afterwards. That's it for now. Thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like and in the description of the video you can find the download link for the plugin with a free two-week trial version. Bye, everybody.